Welcome everyone to my channel. My name is Joe. I'm the lawn wear. I'm here in New Jersey. I'm going to switch things up on my video today. Today's going to be a vlog post on the status of my lawn. I'm going to show you guys around some how I'm doing going into the summer months. So let's get started. But before we begin today, let's mow this lawn. And we're back. The lawn has been cut. I bumped it up a notch today to the letter D on the Toro uh, Super Recycler. You guys know I really like my Toro Super Recycler, the matte black edition. Um, I think it cuts really well. Uh, my lawn, it is starting to thin out in a couple spots. I think that's mostly due to some POA that's been in my lawn. Um, I don't put chemicals in my lawn like you guys know if you follow my channel. Um, if you're new to the channel, my lawn's all organic. I have no uh, chemicals in my lawn. I don't put any herbicides in my lawn. So I do deal with some weeds, but I don't care. Um, I like that my lawn is pet friendly, it's kid friendly, um, and I have no chemicals in my lawn. So like I said, my lawn is thinning out in um, some areas here, um, mostly over in this area over here. Um, you can see uh, it's starting to thin out, uh, brown out in a couple spots. Um, like I said, I think that's mostly due to some POA. Um, I've been moving my sprinklers around as well. Um, so a couple areas of my lawn uh, don't look the greatest, but come the over, fall over seed time, I'm gonna hit it with a lot of seed. Um, over here, as you can see, I've been moving some sprinklers around. Um, I actually move a sprinkler from down here to down to that corner over there, uh, just to get better coverage. Um, so when I go into that fall overseed, um, I know that I'm going to get my lawn nice and wet, keep it moist better. Um, so that's what I've been doing. Um, and also over here as well, I moved a sprinkler from, if I can focus right, from here down to my sidewalk area uh, right here. Basically, I just wanted the sprinkler here as opposed to up there, just so I can get this area better. Um, and I can cover my areas a little bit better But overall my lawn is pretty green. I've been happy with the color so far this year um, Again another sprinkler. I was messing around with uh, right here, but uh, overall color has been great been happy so far um, it, and the thickness it's there um, but I know that this overseed coming I hope to really put down a lot more seed and really thicken this lawn up uh, going into next year. So something I'm really excited about that came in this past week is this grass seed right behind me here. It's by Baron Brug. It's an RPR perennial ryegrass. Uh, thank you to Baron Brug for sending me this uh, grass seed. I'm going to be mixing that in with my GCI tall fescue for my fall overseed this year. Um, I'm going to go in more detail why I want to do that in a future video. Um, but for now, um, you guys know I did a completely renovation of my lawn last year with the Pete's GCI tall fescue. I was extremely happy with the results. You can check out a link above to that video of the renovation video that I did of the review of his grass seed. Um, but this, I'm mixing this in as well. And like I said, future video to why I'm doing that. So what I'm gonna be doing next is putting down my weekly application of uh, Spoon Juice by Yard Mastery. Uh, essentially what Spoon Juice is, is their RGS and the Humic 12 combined in one bottle. Um, what's really great about the spoon juice is you can put it down weekly, you can put it down monthly. I like to put it down weekly. Um, I think it helps keep that green color in the lawn, um, keeps those nutrients in the lawn as well. Um, so I'm going to put some of that down here as well today. Um, and then I'm going to put down some Air 8. I forgot to put this down on my third application last week. So I'm going to throw down some Air 8 as well. And then one last thing that I haven't been putting down that I should have been is uh, the Lawn Whisperers uh, Sanctuary. Um, you can get it off of his site. Um, check out his uh, channel as well. He has a lot of great content. Um, I've promoted him in the past. He's one of the guys that inspired me to start my channel. So I'm going to be putting down some sanctuary as well. Um, it's one scoop per 1,000. Basically, it's a water uh, soluble mixture. Uh, you mix it in with your water, um, in your tank sprayer, in your hose end sprayer. Um, and as you guys can see, I've upgraded. Um, I've upgraded to the My Four Sons uh, backpack sprayer here. I'm gonna be doing a future uh, video on this as well. 
Um, I really love this thing. It makes spraying these liquids in the grass so much easier than the hose end sprayer, and I'm so glad I got this. Um, so like I said, future video on this to come. So that's pretty much it that's all i got for you today that backpack sprayer by the way is a game changer so please check out the link below to the my four sons website um, that backpack sprayer has saved me a lot of headache with the hose end sprayer um, i still love the hose end sprayers if you really need it it's a great inexpensive product um, the backpack sprayers are pricey um, but please check out the link below um, and also if you found this video helpful make sure you smash that like button it helps out the youtube algorithm so other people can find my channel can find this video and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing um, it's all organic like i said earlier um, and please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content and i'll see you in the next one